When it comes to looking for ET, most current attempts have been focused on picking up a radio signal, which is only a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Consider how much light we emit on Earth and how our night side may appear through the eyes of a telescope on another planet. If we suppose that different civilizations evolve while enjoying natural illumination, isn't it reasonable to anticipate that they will likewise develop artificial lighting sources? Is it conceivable for us to look into space and see artificially lit objects out there? The answer is yes, according to a new study done by Edwin L. Turner from Princeton and Abraham Loeb from Harvard. The array of telescopes which are available now to science can confidently observe a light source with an overall brightness similar to a major city, up to a certain distance. Currently, astronomers can use measured flux to determine the orbital parameters of the KBOs or the Kuiper Belt objects and compute their changing orbital distances. Is it possible to see light if it occurs on the dark side, though? According to Loeb and Turner, current optical telescopes and surveys would be able to see this amount of light at the edge of our solar system, and observations with large telescopes can measure a KBO spectra to determine if it is illuminated by artificial lighting using a logarithmic slope. Turn and Loeb wrote in their papers, that there are two types of illumination used by our civilization, one is the incandescent light bulbs or the thermal ones and the other is quantum which are fluorescent lamps and LED or light emitting diodes. The spectral features of such artificial light sources differ from those of sunlight. Because such emission would be extremely rare under natural thermodynamic conditions on the surface of objects which are relatively colder. Artificial lights on objects far away would almost probably be distinguished from natural illumination sources by their spectra. As a result, artificial illumination could act as a beacon indicating the presence of extraterrestrial civilizations and technologies. It would be difficult to detect this illumination difference in the optical band, but the researchers believe that existing telescopes and surveys may identify the artificial light from a relatively brightly lighted location on a Kuiper belt object with a normal albedo. Despite the fact that the light signature would be weaker, the spectral signature would still be present. Because the furthest reaches of our solar system are dark and cold, we don't expect any civilizations to thrive there. However, Loeb suggests that planets expel from their parent stars in our galaxy may have made their way to the boundary of our solar system and settled there. It's debatable whether a civilization could survive an event of ejection from its parent system and then put up lampposts. The researchers aren't claiming that any random light source spotted where there should be darkness is an indication of life. Viewing angle, surface shadowing, backscattering, outgassing, surface albedo changes, rotation and other factors can all contribute to lighting. This is just a fresh idea and a new perspective, as well as proposed workouts for future telescopes and planetary research. The use of narrow-band filters adjusted to the spectral properties of artificial light sources like the LED or light-emitting diodes could assist refine the search procedure while investigating extrasolar planets. While such a scenario on a faraway globe would require far more light pollution than even we produce, why not consider it? In the hunt for extraterrestrial civilizations, this approach opens a new door for future researchers. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and share. Subscribe for more daily content like this.